Hello! Tales by Sutha Murthy Episode 2 A Fair Deal Himakur and Sitapati were two young men living in neighboring villages. Once, a fair was being held nearby and they set off from their homes hoping to do some business there. Himakar filled his sack with some cheap cotton, overlaid it with a layer of fine wool and slinging the sack over his shoulder, set off for the fair. Sitapati collected wild leaves from some bushes, put a layer of fine beetle leaves on top and made his way too to the fair. On the way, both stopped to rest under a big tree and got talking. I have the finest tool in these parts in my sack. They came from the most special sheep, boasted Himakar. I have the best betel leaves in my sack. They are so soft, they melt in your mouth. Usually I don't sell them, but this time I need the money. So I am going to the fair to sell them without telling anyone, said Sita Pati. Quickly, the two crooks struck a deal. They would exchange their goods and since wool was more expensive, Sita Pati would pay him an extra rupee. But Sitapati had no money on him, so after agreeing to pay Himakar the rupee later, the two made their way home, secretly laughing at the other's folly. However, it did not take long for them to discover that they have been duped. The very next day, Himakar landed up at Sitapati's door and yelled, You great cheat! Give me my rupee at least! Sitapati was drawing muddy water from his well and was unperived by Himakar's words. Of course, I'll pay, he said. But first tell me find the treasure lying at the bottom of this well. If we find it, we can divide it. Both were soon hard work at the, and there was no more talk of wool or better leaves. Himaka went inside the bucket where he would fill with muddy water. The bucket Sitapati lowered to him. Sitapati would then pull it up. With each bucket Sitapati pulled up, he exclaimed, Who knew treasure here? Try again. This went on for a few hours. It started getting dark and Himakar realized that Sitapati was using him as a free labor to clean his well. There was no treasure. He was sure that if he stayed much longer, Sitapati would abandon him in the well for good. So he gave a loud shout. Here is the treasure. Watch out. It's heavy. Sitapati was amazed that there was really treasure hidden in the well. He pulled hard and as soon as he pulled up the bucket, he threw away the rope so that Himakar could not come up. But water rather who did he find in the bucket but Himakar covered in mud? They started fighting again. You tried to cheat me. You were going to leave me in the well. Soon it got too dark to argue and they left for their homes. But Himakar was not going to give up. He arrived at Sitapati's house after a few days, demanding his one rupee. Sitapati saw him coming and told his wife, I'll pretend to be dead. You start crying loudly, Himakar will then have to give up trying to get the money from me. But Himakar was clever. As soon as he heard Sitapati's wife wailing, he understood the trick being played on him and rushed out to gather the villagers. My friend has died, he shouted. Let's take his body for cremation. Sitapati's wife got scared. No, 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 go away, I will arrange for the cremation myself, she said. But the villagers thought she was too grief-stricken to know what she was saying and carried Sitapati to the cremation ground. There Himakar told the villagers, It is getting dark. We cannot burn the body now. You go home and come in the morning. I'll watch over him at the night. As soon as the villagers had gone, Himakar said to Sitapati, Stop pretending now. Get up and give me my money. 
As they were fighting, a gang of thieves came to the divide their loot in Lesha at the cremation ground. They saw one person sitting on fire and another standing next to him. Both were arguing loudly, thinking them to be ghosts. The thieves dropped their bags of stolen goods and fled at top speed. The two heard the commotion and saw the bag full of gold and silver ornaments lying on the ground. Quickly, they divided it up between themselves. Himakar made sure he got an extra gold coin for the rupee that was due to him, and the two made men made their way back to their homes. The account settled at last. Thank you and have a wonderful day ahead till I come with the next episode. Bye!